at Philips, we are a technology-driven company. That's what we have always been. And um, based on that, we have created this uh, prototype of a theater luminaire that makes its light only with LED. It runs at 20% of the energy consumption of what is normally used here. So we were very, very proud of that. And we think it has a future. But when we went with this innovation to um, the theater guys here, the lighting technicians of the Stadtschauburg, they told us, well, this is nice, but you're not there yet. They said, what we want to use is this. This is a mask that can create a beautiful texture on the floor and that can make people come loose and separate from their background and give the light a true feel. It's the holy grail of LED technology because it's based on projection and when you have many LEDs to make enough light, each of them makes its own projection and you end up not having a sharp image. So we went back and we worked on this. I'm now going to try to put it in and to see if it will focus. And there you go. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it, but this is what they called the Holy Grail, a theater luminaire based on LED that is capable of projecting a mask. So all I'm saying here today in these five minutes is innovation has to be meaningful. Frans Banning Kok and Willem van Ruitenberg. Um, these are the two gentlemen of the Night Watch, and um, you just saw the picture fading in behind you. And what I believe is that now lighting them with LED, it doesn't really look like how Rembrandt envisioned them once upon a time, right? It's a bit flat and cold. It's like how we think LED is. But what if we look at this more like how Rembrandt would have done it? So we went to the Rijksmuseum and said, well, we can work together with you on this uh, illumination of the Night Watch. And this is more or less how that uh, happened. Here is Brett Kerner, our lighting designer, working on the painting, measuring the illumination and creating a light that has this beautiful color rendition of these really complex colors that Rembrandt painted. He used many pigments all together to create these ochres and browns and greens. So what I'm saying here is that working together with the museum, we could fix this. We, they had the knowledge about curation and presentation techniques. We brought the lighting expertise to put Frans Banning Kok and Willem van Ruitenberg in the best possible light. Innovation does not happen in a vacuum. So, thank you. Um, so, what you saw here is uh, Fergie of the Black Eyed Peas who phoned us up and said, can you do a dress for us that gives light? And we said, well, you know, we will have to work together with you. So, um, if I... <laughs> And so we did. I mean, I will show you if the screen could come down. Oh, there it is again. 
I mean, look how we did that. I, uh, my time is nearly up. So uh, we experimented, we crafted, we worked together with fashion technologists, with tailors, with electronics designers, with people who have a specialism that they are willing to share. And we brought it all together in, uh, into this dress. Here you see how she fits it. Here we make some tough decisions. And it evolved even into a cat suit. We, we, we went on the track of a dress, but thanks to all the input of the other designers, we changed our mind and we delivered uh, pieces like this based on organic LED, based on LED. Here you see the patterns, the atelier, so many people working together, Mark De Witt, the software engineer. And um, this was the result. Besides the dress that you just saw that was used for the Billboard Awards, here Fergie um, is wearing a catsuit based on organic LED and um, Apple the app with a graphic equalizer and Taboo with a video jacket. So my point today is um, innovation doesn't happen in a vacuum. You're never alone. No one has the key just by himself. And when we did all these projects, we thought, well, how would it be to do an entire production on stage with all LED? So here we are at TEDx, the first all LED lit TEDx in the world, I think. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. Great.